Hey guys, what's up? And it's Steelastar here. Today we are going to be playing Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals. I'm very excited to play this. I was a big fan of the first Oxen Free game. And honestly, um, Oxen Free is really what got me into these narrative driven games. I was introduced to it by a cousin and I just loved it. And then I just needed more games that felt like it in a way. Like, I don't know, just, I needed more. Now, without further ado, we're gonna get right on into the game. Oh, hey, it's me again. I just wanna say, unfortunately, I don't talk a lot in this one because I have my mic off during when I play this. Um, for some reasons, but, uh, yeah, so there's not a whole lot of commentary. Oh, it's you again. again. Who, what, what do you want? Rules. You know. Jonas, where did you- Is leave possible. be a dream. It's probably a dream. Maybe it's a dream. Or, or it's a, another... Where am I? Who are you? Who is dangerous? one would work like this. I don't think this thing's operational. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore.
Excuse me, who... who are you? Bury me. Where you can't see one. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm here. I think I dozed off for a second. Hey, hi! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'm just glad you picked up and that the walkie's working. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Riley? How are you hearing me? Maybe you walked into a bad zone. Do we have her number? No? Okay. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? I, I could actually use a refresher, if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel 7. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's, let's hop over to channel 5 so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. You there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night, unless I'm using the bathroom or <laughs> taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? You'll get the hang of it as you go. Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. Tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island. Children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies.
Um, is... Is anyone here? Over? Hi. This is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Anyways, Riley, it should be okay if the general store is closed. Your partner, Jacob Summers, will have a transmitter you can use. You'll see him on your way to Camber Cape. Uh, oh, I'm I'm sorry, but partner? If I'd known I was working with somebody, I uh, might, have, might have remembered to put on deodorant. Oh, it's fine. He's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You never know what could happen. People slip or get bit by snakes or... Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Huh. Okay, Riley, pull out your map and I can explain how to use it. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Uh, hello? Hi. This is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School Radio Advice Line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. Twenty bucks an hour for a babysitter? That is wild.
missing. Lucy Pasterson, age seven, born 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. Where the hell is that stupid kid? Hey, uh, so sorry, but are you Jacob? Jacob Summers? Oh, hey, yeah, I I'm Jacob, which makes you uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. I'm not sure. Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, though, I have no idea. Can we can we try something real quick? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the uh, starter or the battery. It's an 85 four-cylinder something. All you have to do is turn the key. I won't check your license. Some of the electronics have been blinking when it was on. Yeah, but... Oh! Crap. Oh, okay. Uh, tur turn it off. Turn it off, please. Back. Well... <laughs> thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oh, that's bad, right? That's not what we want? No. That's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, bosses doing a check-in. Want to answer that? Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, Jacob, sorry. You go by Jake. Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. Wait, a bit of a climb? Like we're scaling a mountain or a really big hill or what? It's, it's more like a steep hike. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? It's the long pole, right there. It'll fold up when you hit the button. Oh, neat. Nice. And a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Before I finally get some dinner? I'm sorry, but I just want to be sure I caught everything. It's okay. It's, it's a bit specialized. You and Jacob are going to put transmitters, these big metal poles, into a few areas around Kamina. These will gather electromagnetic data and send them to our lab for study. We're doing this because some radio signals are disrupting the town's equipment and no one can figure out why yet. All right, guys, good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Over and out. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. It's right there. Ah. 
Huh, thanks. And try it out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Uh, yeah, okay. Just give me a sec. the Chief Seats. This is David Ratley. Bottom of the now 10th for the community crayfish. Still all tied up. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn... <laughs> She's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Eh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up around them. But that particular breed of small town, something... I'm a little nostalgic for it. <laughs> yeah. N not that it's a bad thing. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but, but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well... Do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, PE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. You know, Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Super strange stuff? Like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Audiovisual phenomena? Like, uh, what? Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It did make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or whatever. The effects, though, that radio effects, has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, I'm sorry, I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techie. But I've been talking my head off ever since we've done it. God. Okay. What's, uh, what brought you back? Is it temporary or just got homesick? Um, my dad isn't doing too great. I thought I should, um, just move back, you know, L at least for a while. Be home to be close to him. Oh, sorry. That, that's, um, that, that's, that's too bad. I, I didn't mean to bring up bad news, but that's really nice of you to come back. I mean, for him. I'm sure he appreciates it. Yeah, family's a, uh, a thorny bush. And I've never said that before in my life. And I definitely won't again.
Let's eat, damn it. Kamina's number one, and number only, late night cooking show. I'm Kat, and this evening we're focusing on family recipes. If I didn't use one of my mom, she'd rise from her grave and drop her headstone on my skull, so... This one's for you, Ma. Every Cuban on Earth has their own version of arroz con pollo. She was no different. But neither am I! So this is my version of my mom's version of her dad's version of his sister's version of so on and so on. Arroz con pollo. Get a pen, folks, for your ingredients. Most of these are available at your local super duper markets, but a few are more specialized. I'll save those for last. One and two large peppers, I tend to go with green and red, but mix them up, see what your palate prefers. One large onion. I favor yellow. One head of garlic. Let's call it eight cloves, peeled and crushed. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One 32 ounce container of chicken broth. One bay leaf, though sometimes I'll toss in two. I know, call the tablets. Two teaspoons of dried oregano, or more if you like more. <laughs> Ugh, my hip flexor's gonna be mad at me tomorrow. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Actually, it means elk. Elk are mountainous, deer are grasslands. And Wapiti's an Americanization of a Cree word for elk. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. <laughs> you overslip? Sounds like there's a, an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I... Once. Twice, but ne never seriously hurt. Well, w once seriously hurt, but you know, I'm fine. What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. Wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Yeah, sound like I'm 80, but... Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Turned out to be a really nice night. My uh, dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the uh, the park, and I saw something off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip, 
and fall a little, and my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder, and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually... <laughs> I've, I've actually always hated these woods. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. Yeah, these woods will kill you if you let them. <laughs> these woods will kill you? What does that mean? Oh, you know, we have a pretty big black bear population, so no that and other stuff. All right, thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked? And locked. Damn it. What the hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. <coughs> Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know, stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh, get creative. Over and out. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Huh. I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Heh. <laughs> Never would. and it might be disrupting broadcasts, so... Back soon? Hopefully. Pray for clear skies. 91.4, the potluck. It's, it's been a tough season for the Mudlings. They called it a rebuilding year, but...
to this evening's theater of the age. This is Let's Eat, Damn It, Kamina's number one and number only late night cooking show. I'm Kat, and this evening we're focusing on family recipes. If I didn't use one of my mom, she'd rise from her grave and drop her headstone on my skull, so this one's for you, Ma. Every Cuban on Earth has their own version of arroz con pollo. And that which we cannot see yet. Life is an ocean of light. Light guides us through the day. Dark watches over us as we sleep. Light and dark, seen and unseen. For disciples of heritage, the question is asked: Will you be seen? <laughs> This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Man, are you gonna feel like crap if I die? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm more callous than I look. That, that was a joke. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Come open up the gate after your topside. Forgot how pretty it can be up here. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Ah, oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, you made it. Good job. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Awesome, thanks. Up we go. You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? It was a, uh, you know, uh, Casualty of war, right? The USS Canaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story not hitting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story.
Do you believe in ghosts? Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kanaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. Damn it, you caught us. I thought I'd have till the end of the night to take my revenge from our watery grave, but... Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, make fun of me, but all I'm saying is... It, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, dunno. Your mileage may vary, I guess. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. But I guess I'm not used to night hikes. <laughs> oh, agreed. I'm freezing. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Uh, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. But someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes. Really lost its luster. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Storm cloud looks nuts. We don't usually get skies like this. Oh, cool. A lightning storm or something like that? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Okay, so the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Man, you're really nailing jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. Uh, I think... Yeah, it's working great. I, uh, think. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good, good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay, this is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Cause, no, I know, just let me find out first. Uh, Jesus! Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, do you know if... Is this... is this right? Riley! What's going on? The readings are a little... weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting with the... with, with the... with that... thing? I... Riley! Turn off the transmitter! It's... What? Just turn What's it off! What's Portal. Something's wrong with it! 
Oh, I was almost there! What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Wait. There, there's someone here. Who, Who is are... she? She did something! She... Whatever she did, fried our antenna! Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? Hey, where are we? What? What? Hey, wait, e Evelyn, we didn't we already do this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? Over. I'm... Um Evelyn, I, I think something's wrong. D didn't this already all happen? Didn't what already happen? They, uh, did Leslie give you the instructions? Didn't we already do this? This whole, I woke up on the bench and you called me and... Already do what? You've, you didn't talk to anyone else, right? This is your first day with us, right? And you just landed in Kamina. Evelyn, just, it's just that everything is wrong, or, or, I don't know, maybe I... It's okay, Riley, I'll, uh, let's, let's get through the instructions here, and maybe we can circle back. You're going to be, uh, placing transmitters? That's, uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up, and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover, but... I express mailed it to the general store that's run by a very friendly manager who agreed to set it aside for you. The general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed? Oh, shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would help me out a ton if they can just let you grab the equipment real quick. Did I... did we already talk about the Crab Shack? Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's... I think it's under health code probation or something. Riley, sorry, if you can hear me, just go to the general store and they'll fix you up. I'll call you later. Over and out. the right time yet. Hey, you hey, what the hell do you think you're keep doing? Away. Keep away from all of this! For your own good! This isn't for you. Are you doing this? Time is... Just leave it alone. Don't, don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back! Hey, wait! Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Evelyn, there was there was some kid breaking into the general store. Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I just wanted to tell you that actually. Man, have you ever gotten a deja vu? Because I am getting a serious case of it right now. I think we're I think we might be stuck in a, a loop or something. We've done this before. Riley? Uh, are you still there? Hey, Evelyn, I'm, I'm here. I, I, I'm still... Come on, oh, boys. Come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Come with a hope. Come with a clue. Come with goodwill. Or not at all. Who... who is this?
but our antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow or... Well, ruined. ruined. It's her again. She keeps trying to... Again? Did I just... Uh, okay. Again it is. Damn it, come on. What do I need? Just to keep it together, right? Definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. Just great.
Jacob? Jacob, you around? Oh. <sighs> Guess not. Maybe he's back at his truck? <sighs> I gotta find him. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease, with their neighbors at their side, <sighs> just as we in cities wide. Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. I don't know what the hell is going on. Ah, Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta give my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a... Oh, wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that... Yeah, that... That, that happens. That... Oh, man. Are you okay? You seem alive. Which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. Jacob, honest question. In light of everything that just occurred, how would I know if I'm okay? Well, yeah, it's, it's a good point. Yeah! Ah! Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's... it's Evelyn. Jesus. Hello? Are you there? Oh, man, thank God, it's only Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit. But we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't... We don't know what happened. D do you? Over. Oh, jeez, guys. I, I don't... I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there. But the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing. Right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. Okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing. While we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on, before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Over. Ah, uh, this... You, you don't really know what you're asking us to do here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's just do it fast, Riley. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical, in case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. This should work. Uh, thanks. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. 
but, but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters, right? Well, maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but I know we can figure it out. I mean, you, I don't know, but I know I can figure it out. Yeah, I, I, I believe you. Wait, there? wait, listen. Their transmitter That's... knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We... we need to repair it. We... I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking. Ah! Charlie, come in. Violet, where are you? Let's just listen in for a second. Guys, I... I think I'm lost. I'm at somewhere by the cliffs? I think she's by the cave system. Violet, what happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm... I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointilia. That's not far from here. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Hearth and Cinder. Catch squirrels if you can. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound... young. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I... I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet. Let's let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Come on. What the hell could Why why is it doing this? I have no earthly idea, Riley, but we can figure that out when we stop it. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. Do you see that? What the hell is that? That giant thing in the sky. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... 
Riley, this is gonna sound, I, I don't know, but this is all, I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She, no one really believed her, but she knew. Jacob, who are you talking about? Wait, Riley, do you, do you hear that? There's... Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? It sounds like... It, it sounds like... Kids. Jacob? Jacob, can, can you hear me? It, it sounds... Does that sound like a, a radio? What is going on? Someday you lose your way, you know just what to do. Right? What is going, Marco? Uh. Oh. Hey, you hear what I said, Miss? The bar's closing. You gotta go home. Hey, anyone know her? Get, anyone friends with this home. woman? Who's, who's anyone? Home? No? Do I have to call somebody? Wait, 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 wait. I'm... This whole thing isn't because I'm just... It's time to get up. Let's go. There's nothing to figure out. Night's over, okay? Hey! Wait, buddy! You were talking to her earlier.
Uh, wait, wait Jacob, where, where are we? I, are, are we in... This is Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. Huh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I... I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. You live in a... in a cabin? Like a log cabin? Well, I said cottage. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been in my family for a while. We were one of the few allowed to build on the land. It's technically part of the park. Anyways, I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young. And I'm not just randomly into radio technology. I mean, I know, I know what transmitters are for a reason. When I was a kid, there was this older lady who lived in town. Well, she lived on Edwards Island, really, but she got her groceries and stuff in town. She studied this stuff. Weird frequencies, signals. She had lots of theories no one believed or would believe. When we were kids, we were kind of friends, and I, I have a lot of her journals still. I know she wrote about something like this. I, I think it can help. You, w wait, when you were a little kid, you were friends with an old lady who lived on Edwards Island? I know it sounds strange, but let's just see if, if her work helps first. And then uh, I, I can give you the footnotes, you know? It's not far. The cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. Well, it's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that, uh, that sucks. Yeah, would've been nice for them to have met each other a little younger, but I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to worry. But it's not like a huge deal, basically. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Uh, are you a duke of something or something? Th this is a castle. Oh yeah, yeah, real palatial. Warm in the summer, cold in the winter. It creaks, it leaks, and termites can't get enough of it. Don't judge a book by its cover, works both ways. Trust me. All the stuff that we need is inside. So just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do we need to review doors again? No, I... The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're... Oh, I can picture it. They're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning. And I forgot to put them back in my pants. 
hey, it happens. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember her, the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Did that? No. Okay. I uh, need to get up there. Hmm. Maybe? No. Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Sorry. This should reach the window. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi, I don't know who that is, and an 8th grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. Of course. Hey, you there? Come let me in. Thanks. Yeah, how'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again? God. I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hang on. You got a phone call as I was heading down here. I didn't answer. Huh, kinda late to get a call, but okay. Oh, it's been at least an allergy season since I cleared out my answering machine. So that one's lost to the ages. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, this is it. One of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone. Is, uh, that why this is happening? Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, I mean, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, it, it all just sounded insane. Okay. Okay, I think... I buy this as much as any other plausible enough sounding explanation. Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. I was just a kid, you know? How, uh, how did our friend Anna die? She didn't really get into the details, just that during an experiment, something went wrong. 
Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. All right, so all of this happened in like the 40s or something, right? Why is this happening now all of a sudden? That portal over on Edwards Island? Whoever did that? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was an accident based on what we heard on the walkie. But uh, just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Huh. Uh, Jacob? I'm still here? Oh, yeah, sorry. She's... Uh, she, she says that... Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's... This, this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So... Transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it, based on what Maggie thinks, at least. Which is definitely what we want to do, because you know, Ma Maggie says, she wrote here, that the gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. But aren't we out of transmitters? H how would we do this? The general store is holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case, we should be all set. Once we get them, I mean. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is, so that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So, for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that... It... Should... Work? Sounds like something that makes just enough sense that I'll go along with it until it doesn't work. That's about the level of confidence I'm at, too. Okay... Uh, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. I just hope we're right. <laughs> Oh, it's Evelyn. We should... Hey, Evelyn, do you, uh, see or, like, know how insane this is getting? Over. Riley! Riley, thank God! Okay, you're okay. Everything's okay. Okay, that's good. The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! And we figured it out with the power of science and uh, Jacob's knowledge of all this stuff. Just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. But this is better. Alright, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I... I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <coughs> Sorry, I... Uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but... I, I, I don't know. Ah, oh, poor baby. If she goes on walks by herself all the time, I'm sure she'll turn up. She probably got some doggy action and doesn't want to come home yet. <laughs> Maybe. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Over. 
Oh, it's Evelyn. We should loop her in. Riley! Jacob? You guys there? Guys, please, can you answer me? It's Evelyn. Over. I need to know what's going on, folks. Is everything okay? We should tell her, Riley. Can you take point here? Hey, Evelyn, do you, uh, see or, like, know how insane this is getting? Over. Riley! Riley, thank God! Okay, you're okay. Everything's okay. Okay, that's good. The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! We figured it out with the power of science and uh, Jacob's knowledge of all this stuff. Just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. But this is better. Okay, let's go. Alright, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <coughs> Sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Good to know. I will keep an eye out. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but, uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. Oh, God. Oh, God of God. Just try not to think about gravity. You know, that unavoidable thing that kills mountain climbers all the time. Let's hope you're next.
another anchor for climbing gear I don't have. I can't use this until I get some. I think your coworker said the gear was at the general store, right? Once we get it, we should be good. Ow, ooh, sorry. Uh, the rocks are a little slippery. <laughs> So, embarrassing confession. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book I was a month late in returning. I'm talking 30 proper days, and I never even finished it. Athena and I walk there all the time. So I figured two birds, you know? <sighs> You're a monster, Jacob Summers. I'm ashamed to know you. Terror of the fiction section, that's, uh, that's me. Yeah, but really, I could have waited another 30 because Kamina P.L. got rid of late fees last September. I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. Kids need to learn that. You really want to charge a kid 50 cents because he's one day late and returning dude the cat goes to school? Do you remember how hard it was to get money as a kid? You may as well charge them cold fusion. I do, and that's exactly why. Learn the lesson, young reader. Maybe a more considerate child also wants to know how that day at school went for dude, but now they'll never know. Anyway, now you know. Judge me. Mm, go ahead. Finish the damn thing. Come on, at this point you're like morally obligated. 
you're not the boss of me. But, it, yeah, I, I should. I will. But because Jacob decided so. Thank you and tip your waitstaff. Oh, oh, sorry, wait, we have to... <laughs> ah, just got it. Whenever you cross a bridge, you have to spit over the side. It's good luck. <laughs> well, there. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? Grab me a pack. No, screw it. Grab me two. Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of fake sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. That's technically B and A, right? It depends on who you ask. So we just won't ask anyone. There's the gear. Let's go. Mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and that looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to think about it though. Ugh. Don't worry about the climbing part. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just, let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we wanna go.
All right. Have an idea of where we're going? Um, let's just walk. Just like a museum, I prefer not to make a whole plan first. Just start moving and see what you see. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. The building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the, uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Oh, this place? No, no, this is the, the uh, parentage building. They're the permanent residents. They rent it for their church functions. Oh, if this is like their headquarters, shouldn't we, wouldn't it be good to, you know, stake it out? Or something? I don't know. We have a lot to do, and... I don't know why any of them would come back here. I'd rather not waste time hoping one of them needs to use the bathroom, you know? this oh no way i buried this when i was a kid maggie had me bury letters for her weird i know but she paid five bucks each i promised i'd never read any of them never did never will keep your eyes open i guarantee there are more of these out there hmm she was still trying to experiment with this stuff even then
Oh, wait. Hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. I can't believe this is them. Uh, what's up? Remember something else? Last time you had an idea, it really helped us out. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is their occult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's some parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories. About people disappearing. About them performing rituals and stuff. Yeah, I saw their flyer at the store. You think this is a cult thing? Seriously? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. I just... I, I think it's her. Something must have gone wrong with their... whatever they were doing. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but- No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are, well, the numbers are otherworldly, way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Yeah, Evelyn, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. Uh, when they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And they said, 
All we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. I, uh, guess I just needed a reset. I didn't have a permanent address and drifting like that can feel great for a bit, like I'm beating some system, but I didn't really have anything to show for it but a foggy memory and a lot of bad habits. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the, how's he doing? Still an electrician? It's been a minute since I've seen him in town. Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you uh, came back for a reset. And I, I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Anna. Who was Anna? Jay, it was an accident. A careless mental mistake. Two syllables. But you're not wrong. Anna's never far from my thoughts. Her name never far from my lips, clearly. Do not think this is by choice. So much of my life is not by choice. So much of all of life, or so I tell myself. I wish I could tell you it will never happen again. I wish I could tell you many things. M. I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. But, uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. I 
genuinely, objectively, without a shred of consideration for politeness, liked it. Well then, I genuinely, objectively, uh, the, the, the rest of that, appreciate it. I usually just work with scrap metal. I figured, you know, branch out, Jake. It's a work in progress, both the sculpture and the branching. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom, have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. A wonderful word. Yeah, how it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. My mother was an undertaker. One way to start a letter, Maggie? Mel, my mother was an undertaker. I grew up in a graveyard. They say a cemetery is no place for a child, but for me it's a place of happy memories. Somewhere I go on gray days, sometimes wandering besides, beside the headstones. I swear I can still smell my mother's perfume. Funny that we should run into each other there. You don't meet many fellow amateur radio enthusiasts in the wild let alone one conducting experiments. I must say, the amplifier you were working with has thoroughly piqued my curiosity and homemade no less. Bravo. I've always theorized that increased amplification of, well, any signal really, could uncover all sorts of wonders and terrors and all those beautiful and awful things we dream about at night, for better or worse. I'm hoping Perhaps we could work together to see if these theories are true. Also, I would love to hear who Tom was, if you're so inclined. Strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck, lost dog, and now uh, this situation. However you classify it. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at three. There's always room for more. And hey, there's strike four. Last night I had a dream. Uh, I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. It turned out it was me. And like, not a mirror, it was another me, only he didn't have a face. And, and then I reached up to see if I did, but Athena barked me awake before I could find out. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that just came to me right now. out of nowhere. Sorry. Super creepy. Yeah, it stuck with me for most of the morning. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? <laughs> right. Oh, 
There's a weird looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Let's just come back later. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. When we're done with all of this, you should come back here. Like this area. Best sunset view in town. Five crisp dollar bills in your pocket, you find a better one. So noted. And I intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff. 500 pennies, you have my word. Sunsets on Mars are blue. Did you know that? Something about the, uh, the dust in the atmosphere? Blue Martian sunset. Saw it on a nature show. Because, you know, technically, outer space is part of nature. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does have a wacky flavor of ice cream flair to it, huh? I'm kind of jealous, you know? I mean, I'm totally down with, uh, earthly and sunsets. No complaints. But, I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. And how much of it we'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me. But maybe it ain't. What color is the sunset on Uranus? The second the S in Mars slipped my lips, I freaking knew that joke or something in that joke's orbit was coming. And to that I say, bravo, maestro.
These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. Ingrid, stray thoughts. Consider this an addendum to our last conversation. I have no religion. I cannot say it is the pursuit of knowledge, as I gave up the chase quite a while ago. My father was devout, my mother less so. I patterned after her. Faith in a system where I cannot see its purpose is hard for me. What is the purpose of chemical existence? I've never read a satisfactory answer. Mayhem is the order in which the universe was founded, I think. The stories we take from that mayhem are us trying to line up events in a way that makes sense for our sanity. I am happy for anyone who finds peace in this ocean, so I'm happy parentage gives you some peace. I'm not exactly jealous, but perhaps I should be. guys i think i'm gonna end it there and we will leave off at 12 a.m next time thank you for watching and i'll see you next time hope you take care <laughs>